Good morning, this is Kevin Hooker with Ward Realty Services, and today we've got Joseph and Dylan with Rubel Home Inspections with us, and we're kind of going to do a little thing a little different here this morning. We're kind of going to do a, a video highlighting the good, the bad, and the ugly of home inspections. So this is some stories that uh, they uh, came in just to share with us. Uh, so you know, I hope you enjoy the video. Dylan, you want to start off with the crawl space? All right. <laughs> so one instance, um, the crawl space, um, we got into it and this was actually the second time that we had inspected the house. Mm -hmm. The first time he was only able to get in the crawl space. Second time I was able to get into it. But you had to go in. You go in one shoulder, and you squeeze it, and kind of wiggle your other shoulder. You dive into the whole crawl okay. space. Exactly. But the whole, <laughs> the whole crawl space, cobwebs. I mean, muck. There was debris all over the place. Yeah. Um, so we finally get in there. We're crawling through it, um, and you see all the floor joists that are cracked. Uh -huh. We're banging on and doing our inspection, um, just making sure you know, see what they, what the. Uh, uh, condition of the uh, floor joist are come to find out once we get back up they had a pool table over top of <laughs> all the floor joists that were cracked that we're crawling yeah. under so it's like 75 percent <laughs> of those floor joists were deteriorating to the wow. point where we took our screwdriver and put a screwdriver right through it or they were literally broken in half yeah and we're crawling under here and it's like oh <laughs> the pool table on top of us <laughs> <laughs> So then the other one we did, we were, call, we were doing it crawl space. Crawl spaces are uh, usually they're the most con concerning because yeah. nobody wants to go in there. Right. So we wear two Tyvek suits. We were crawling through about a half inch of mud. And it was like, ah, don't really want to go through it, but, but you, you always to. want to see what's on the other side. So we right. crawled through it only to realize we couldn't you know, shine with a flashlight, but you couldn't see the water until you get all the way there and it starts dripping you. Oh, no. I've even heard a story about another home inspector. It wasn't us, fortunately. He crawled underneath there, and timing is perfect. So he crawled underneath the... I thought it was uh, time to home on a fresh toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. You probably run into that more, yeah. more than anything, don't you? Uh, sometimes flood, water, <clears throat> water, and... <clears throat> Yes, of water's kind. enemy number one with a house. Yeah. And because the crawl space, water always goes to the low spot. Mm -hmm. So if you know you got a big hole on right there, if you don't have some type of mechanical way to get it out, uh, we opened the house up one time and opened a crawl space and frog jumped. <laughs> and it was like, oh, there's probably about a foot of water. It had a sub pump, but it wasn't working. Yeah. So that you know, that's all the floor choices and everything gets older and deteriorated. Yeah. And like we've talked about before, that's where our problems come from, because there's a presence of moisture, mm -hmm. and and it's dark on top of it. Yeah, insects and critters. And yeah, all, all, all kinds good, of all the good stuff. And make it to where they can uh, live in there a lot yeah. easier. <laughs> yeah, and like you said, nobody goes down, nobody goes under. Yes. So, and that's why we have, <laughs> normally the clients get a kick out of us seeing us in the Tyvek suits because it's like, oh, you are gonna go have fun. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> go in nice and clean and come out all night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, another one was in the springtime. We're doing an inspection um, and doing our termite mm -hmm. inspection. Um, all of a sudden, there's these bugs all over the place. So he jumps down, grabs a hold of one. He's you know, looking at it, and it was termite swarmers that had just come into the mulch beds. Okay. Um, and that's the bad thing about our termite inspection is we're only noting what's there. Mm -hmm. They were gone, what? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Wow. You couldn't even tell. Okay. I mean, from them, I mean, it was like a whole swarm to come up and out. And it's like flying. And so was it just from disturbing the no, mulch? No, in the springtime, they, the, the reproductives, okay. the, the ones so that fly. So just have the timing was right. Exactly. Okay. That short 20 minute window. Yeah. Out of all 365 days, we happened to be there and they, they, I kept seeing these bugs going by thinking, man, if I didn't know any better, they look like a termite. Uh -huh. So, you know, you see them, you just kind of keep going to where, and then I looked down right there, they were just swarming. Okay. By the time the end of the inspection, there was birds and all the critters was picking them up. <laughs> you want to talk about the uh, stove? <laughs> So this is probably the funniest one I've had so far. Uh -huh. um, 
we're doing a multi-unit um, start you know do our kitchen inspection start mm -hmm. the stove turn the exhaust fan fan on and then about that time i started seeing little bugs flying behind the stove so um what is it figured out that it was flying cockroaches that were coming out of the fan behind the stove uh -huh. and it's like because of the heat exactly the heat was drawing them oh out and they were just trying to find somewhere that wasn't as hot <laughs> and yeah it's one of those where you see that and you're like <laughs> yeah. Uh, definitely uh, interesting. We get to see a lot. <laughs> yeah. And then pools. You know, it's getting to yeah. be that pool season. Right. So um they've got some neat retractable pool covers that little little guys can actually walk across. It's electronic. You push a button and it mm, closes. Mm -hmm. And little guys it'll hold like thirty or forty pounds. So even if the kids do get out, they can walk right across it and don't have to worry about them coming in. Okay. So you always want to be real careful with those. Yeah. And then we, the recently what we've done is some people have, uh, they've given up a home inspection or get, in order to get the deal in the house, sure. they pass on home inspection. Mm -hmm. uh, that's always um, lots of things that could go wrong. You know, we can go through quicker and just kind of tell them some of the highlights and mm -hmm. what the big, big items. Yeah. And then the last one we would like to talk about was a house. Uh, we were doing the inspection. The house is about five years old. Mm -hmm. They did not figure it was a new house, so they didn't need to get inspected. We opened the door to look at the second floor furnace. The exhaust pipe was never hooked up. Oh no. So for five years, the exhaust was venting into the second floor. All the kids were sleeping in there. There, I don't think there was even a carbon monoxide detector. Wow. So it's like. <laughs> yeah. So fortunately, they were, you know, that's always the scary thing. So, uh, inspections. Mm -hmm. yep. Anything else? Uh, they get the Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, kind of got a laugh, I hope, a few places. Maybe learn something along the way. Uh, folks, give us a call if you need a home inspection. Joseph and Dylan's uh, always available. And, you want to give them their number? 812-945-7478. And if you're looking for a home uh, or to sell yours or get a uh, market analysis, something like that, let me know. Kevin Hooker, 502-396-4969. Thank you and have a great day.